You know, we were recently at a gun show, and after walking around, you know, the gun show uh, with a, an attorney general, we left, and there were some folks there with, you know, signs right. that were, you know, essentially, you know, protesting either the attorney general or Gabby and I being there. And I walked across the street to talk to them. You I did. always like to do Engaging. that. That's like my favorite thing to do. Right. Is to go talk to these, right. talk to these folks who don't think they agree with me on anything and then find out, yeah, we actually have a lot in common right. on this issue. So I went and talked to them. There was about a dozen people. I shook all their hands and then walked back across the street, got in the car with Gabby. And as we drove away, you know, the, one, of the, one of the persons protesting out there yelled something at our car. You know what they yelled? We love you, Gabby. So you can turn people so, around, actually. You know, it's, you know, I think, you know, I think there's, you know, people feel strongly about this issue. They do. And they have a reason to feel strongly about it. But, you know, if you can discuss the issue with them, and I think a lot of people have, you know, a lot of respect, you know, for my wife as, you know, somebody who was in Congress who worked across party lines whenever she could yeah. to, to, to get things done. You know, some of her best friends in in, in Congress were, uh, you know, On the conservative right. Republicans. One uh, in particular from here in the state of Texas. Yeah. You know, Gabby and Ted Poe were very close. Right. And, uh, you know, she always was able to find that common ground be be um, between people, and we're still trying to do that. Right. You know, we, we've got uh, about 500,000 people who have signed up on our website, you know, to try to support us with this cause, and they include a lot of gun owners and even NRA members, you know, that are, that are kind of behind us in this. With regards to that bill last April, you know, that was something that 70, I think 72% of NRA members thought should be passed.